YouTubers, this is Lynn Mini here today, and today I'm going to show you how to download your Sega Genesis ROMs onto your Sega Genesis portable player right here, because I know a lot of you have been wanting to, who have this uh, portable device, want to put your own ROMs and stuff onto the system instead of playing the ones that are already on there and stuff. And to show you that, guys, that I have my working and stuff, I'm going to turn it on and show you as a demonstration real quick before we continue the video. You're going to go to where it says SD card and click the start slash pause button. When you have your SD card into the uh, system, it will say searching for games. And as you can see, I have some games already here. I'll uh, show you as an example. One second. Oh, here it is. I'll show you X-Men, the USA version, the first game. And then it will say loading game. And there you go. Okay, so to get it to where you guys can have your games, your ROMs on here and stuff, what you're need going to need to do, the reason why, I don't know why honestly it does this, but this device is very picky when it comes to SD cards. I put in two other previous SD cards before this one right here. This one will work with this device. I don't know about any other brand SD cards to be honest, but this one works perfectly with, with, with it, the Sony brand. I tried putting a Toshiba SD card in, an HP SD card in. It did not like it. When I put the ROMs on the card, it would say it would keep on popping up with an error message over and over again. But it worked great with this one. Uh, I didn't purchase this one. Well, I kind of sort of did. I mean, I bought the my Ice White Japan 3DS and I took out the SD card that was in that system and formatted it to just original settings. Just took everything off of that card and use this one now for this device and use a different SD card for the other system. So yeah, this is the SD card that I have that I know for sure will work for the for this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to download the ROMs. I would suggest to you here to go to ROM Nation. Uh, you can go on Google or whatever search engine that you prefer and type ROM Nation uh, space Genesis or I also like to go to Cool ROM Genesis and we're going to use do this as a demonstration. I guess I'll do both of them as a demonstration real quick. You're going to click here where it says Sega Genesis ROMs slash CoolROMs.com. Click on that. Next, what you're going to do is I'm going to go back to my YouTube thing. And what else do I need to get? Um, Splatterhouse 2 and 3. Well, let's try to find that. Let me just go down here where the letters are at. And find Splatterhouse if it's available on here which it should be. Splatter, splatter house, splatter house, splatter and blah 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 Okay. Here's splatter house 2. Click on the game that you want, any game that you want and so forth. Click on it. Let me exit out. Well, not exit out, but okay. Then down here below an ad that will pop up and be annoying, click on download now. If it will allow you to click the download button, if an ad won't stop popping up and being annoying. And then this will pop up. And click the video to start the stupid thing. Okay. Then click download your file, click it, and then it will say here at the bottom that it's downloading, it downloads super fast, and then here's the folder right here, Splatterhouse, so we're going to click out this ad, zoom out of that, take the folder, put it on your desktop, you don't have to, but that's what I'm doing, open it up, in here it will have Splatterhouse 2 BIN. You need it to be in the format, the bin format. If it's in a different format at the end where it has uh, two or three other letters at the end of it besides this format, all you have to do is click on it, then delete those letters at the end and type BIN and save the settings and it's going to be in bin format. So there you go. So now you have the file. You're going to take your lovely, fan 
fantastically fantastic SD card, which I thought I lost a second ago. You're going to take this, you're going to put it in your computer. You're going to wait for it to pop up on the desktop. I'm going to drag it here so you guys can see it. You're going to open it up. You're going to name a, fo um, a folder called GAME. It can be all caps, all lower cases, it doesn't matter. Then you're going to drag and drop the Splatterhouse, to, I mean, whatever game that you just downloaded, and pop it in your folder as soon as I can. Why isn't it not doing it, though? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Eject. I do not need this. I do not need for this to be happening right now. Okay. You know what? Uh. I do not want this to be happening right now. It's not working on that one. So we're gonna take this one that I had already placed onto the SD card as a demonstration. This is gonna be dragged and dropped in there and it's still not working. Everything that is good and gracious in this world, everything that is fantastically fantastical, why are you not working? Let me guess. I'm going to pop it back in there, and if it was what I thought it was, I'm going to be upset. Like, slightly upset. Okay, like an idiot, I had my SD card locked for a second, and that's why it wouldn't go in there. <clears throat> Sorry. So you're going to take your file and put it into the game folder, and it's going to pop in there, and it's going to be in there and be nice and happy, and nothing's going to go wrong, hopefully. And this is the list of stuff that I have in here, and here's the Splatterhouse 2 bin, and then you're going to eject your SD card, and if it doesn't eject right away, then click it again. I have no patience. <laughs> Come on, SD card, go! Please, por favor. Por favor, SD card, por favor. Come on. Now this shouldn't happen for you guys, but for some reason my SD card isn't wanting to eject. One second, please. Force eject, please. Force eject. I don't care if it wasn't ejected. Eject. This is the second time I'm doing this video. Eject! Come on, take out this thing, please. Thank you. Now, after your lovely, fantastical SD card is out of there, you're gonna go back over here, and then you're gonna pop the SD card where it goes. Then you're gonna turn it on. Fantastical. Okay. Then we go here, you go to the SD card part here, push the start pause button. And the one that I just downloaded is called Splatterhouse 2, so it's going to be on the second page and then it's going to be scrolling, scrolling. And then push the start button, loading game. Don't know if this game works or not, first time actually testing it, as you guys saw. And it works. So fantastic. So yeah. Okay, now that we have that, there you go. That is how you download it. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it again on the other side because that was painful. And this one, the video will last as long as the first one too. Hmm. 
But yeah, if you guys have any questions regarding this, please, them, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But yes, first off, make sure to use a SD card that is compatible with this device. The Sony one works. I don't know if any other brand works. If it does, please also leave that in the comment section down below. Yay, thank you. Um, also, make sure that when you download the ROMs that it's in bin format, B-I-N, and if it's not in that format, you know, just click the, the file name and then just change the last two or three or four letters at the end of it of whatever file format it was. Erase those, you know, delete those, then type B-I-N, save it as that, and it will turn into a bin file format. Just move it, then take that file, move it into your game folder that's labeled game, and uh, eject your SD card, pop it into your system, and go to the SD card setting, push start slash pause, and click the game you want to play, and it should be ready to go. So yeah, any comments, questions, leave them down below. If you guys uh, can help each other out with that, that would be awesome as well. If you guys have any information about that, um, this is Len Mooney signing out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.